Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of March 2021. Uh, this is your general reading, Sagittarius. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated by this reading, okay? I would also request you to hit on that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. <coughs> Alright, Sagittarius, let me explain you the format of this reading. I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Thereafter, I'm going to pull some cards from another deck and they will represent the general messages, the non-love messages for you and your person. Later on, I'll pull some cards from, uh, I'll pull some oracle cards and they will be the messages from higher powers. They will be the messages from the universe regarding this connection or in general. At the end, you will wind up this reading by pulling out one single card, which will be the likely conclusion for the given situation. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, let's get started. So we have two of swords for you, ten of wands, the devil, Ooh. king of swords, two of, one, uh, two of wands, the judgment, away. And the mutual energy is that of Ace of Pentacles, the lovers. Okay. So if we have to talk about the zodiac signs, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, with a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. And also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right, if the sign pops up, all the better, Sagittarius. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Hmm. Two of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Devil. So the obsessive person is back, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hmm. So you are dealing with someone, Sagittarius, who is very obsessive about you or who has this borderline obsession issues within them okay they just they just want to keep you chained to themselves they cannot tolerate you with someone else they are very highly codependent on you okay i believe that this was a sort of a toxic relationship for you which kind of put you which kind of put a lot of uh, energetic burden on you you may have felt like you are draining yourself uh, someone is draining energy out of you okay so this person may be an energy vampire for you with so much of toxicity why do I see that there is two of sorts what are you thinking about Sagittarius what are you confused about you are dropping the burden you yourself are moving in that direction where you want to drop the burden of this person where you want to drop the burden of this relationship because this relationship was not at all serving any good for you so what's the confusion all about or this may be a confusion in the past situation in the present you have decided to drop the burden but i 
I am thinking Sagittarius you are almost on the verge of dropping the burden or leaving this relationship and this person is going to pop up in your life again because we have devil card next to 10 of wands you are moving you are very just one step away from do dropping these 10 of wands and you meet the devil this person is going to come and try and stop you from moving on let me tell you for some of you this was surely a toxic relationship because the energy of the person is represented with the devil and <clears throat> Look, devil card, every time, it's not bad. Let me be very honest. Every single card has their light side and the shadow side. And devil card, every time, is not bad. Okay, but the kind of energy I'm getting from this card right now is that they they want to keep you chained down to them. Okay, and there is a lot of toxicity. There was a lot of manipulation and trickery and lies and cheating involved. There may be someone new who is interested in you and this person knows that there is a new uh, in whom you are interested or someone new is interested in you and they're coming towards you to not just stop you but also to eliminate the competition. Uh, with the King of Swords, Two of Wands and the Judgment. I'm clearly getting a message from these three cards that someone new is about to enter in your life. Okay, someone new is entering in your life. Otherwise, a second message I'm getting as far as your person is concerned that uh, yes, your person is ready to fight off anyone who is interested in you. This person wants to eliminate the competition. And you're a bit tired of this, you know. You're a bit tired of this person that they try and enter in your life whenever they want to and they exit whenever they want to this is someone who is a bit of an in and out energy someone who is like my way or the highway but you are praying to the god every single day that you want someone better in your life you are praying to the god that i'm tired now enough is enough and i want someone better and i want someone who will make me happy right so sagittarius I am getting with a two of wands and judgment next to one another that your prayers are about to get answered. Okay, your prayers are about to get answered and someone new is about to enter in your life and you are showing a middle finger to your past person. At least some of you are showing a middle finger to your past person. Your person is going to come back, they're going to show up in your life again. Uh, they will keep on showing up in your life again. It will take quite a long time for you to tell them that no i mean you every time they return this is applicable for who absolutely do not want their past person okay so so every time this person returns you will clearly tell them that look i'm not interested but this person will keep on coming back and back and back and you will have to tell them multiple times like multiple times they're going to come back and every single time you'll have to tell them that look i'm not interested and there afterwards they will stop coming Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Please excuse me. So the mutual energy is that of Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. So clearly a new opportunity is coming. Both of you, you want a new opportunity. Your person wants a, a new opportunity with you. And Sagittarius, you want a new opportunity from a new person. Okay. And uh, things are in your favor. That's what I'm, I'm, I am feeling like, you know. So this, these cards were placed like this. The hand is this side. Your cards were placed this side. So hand is like moving towards you. So the God is listening to you. That's what I'm hearing. So if you want a new person, God is going to give you a new person in your life. Okay. So the favorism is rather than listening to your person, God is going to listen to you. That's what I'm hearing. Right. So what are the general messages, Sagittarius, for you and your person? What are the general messages for you and your person? What are the general messages for you and your person? What are the general messages for you and your person, Sagittarius? Nine of Cups. 
three of wands ace of cups wow two of cups okay hierophant interesting four of cups yeah i'm not surprised four of four of cups next to hierophant and two of cups i'm not surprised so nine of cups three of wands and ace of cups uh you're focused on your happiness right now okay you're focused on your happiness and if that means cutting out anyone from your life whosoever is not making you happy you're going to do that you're going to take some bold steps in your life to cut away people to cut away situations to leave jobs some of you are leaving your nine to five job and starting with something that you really wanted to do three of wands is uh you are waiting for certain things did you give an interview and waiting for a job offer to come it's going to come towards you it's not far away okay and you can sense that that's the whatever you are waiting for it's coming towards you it may be a job offer it may be anything okay uh most likely it's like three of wands and ace of cups next to the three of wands so you are waiting for a new love and the new love is coming towards you that's what i'm feeling otherwise i feel that you are focused on your own happiness and you clearly know that for some of you at least you clearly know that your past person doesn't make you happy you are leaving your past person you are giving importance to your own happiness okay and that is very important i i must really you people should really pat your own back okay you are making yourself a priority look making yourself a priority is not selfishness for others it may look like you are selfish but no that's not selfishness so your person has two of cups hierophant and four of cups this person intends to get into a partnership with you but most for most of them majority of them they will be disappointed because we have four of cups next to that but otherwise i'm getting that with whoever this person is getting into relationship with if it is with you or if it is with anyone else or even if that means a business partnership because we have alliance cards right two two of cups is also about alliance and hierophant is also about a commitment right so any sort of an alliance whether it is romantic alliance or any other alliance this person will face disappointment and that's because the karma okay that's that's the karma baby okay right so sagittarius let's see what are the messages from higher powers what are the messages from higher powers regarding this connection or in general what are the messages from higher powers regarding this connection or in general one more card okay interesting so we have three cards Ooh. wow beautiful we have caring connections someone who is going to love you like anything look at the way that person is looking at her that man is looking at her is looking at her with so much of love and passion you are feeling a lot of anxiety and that anxiety is going to uh you know it's going to go away very soon because you're going to find this you are anxious about finding love let me let me be very honest okay you're very much anxious about finding love some of you may be anxious about you're feeling that your past person is returning okay and that's that's a sign of a red flag if your past person returns and if you're feeling anxiety because of that okay then that's completely a red flag for you that you are not comfortable with that person okay angel of strength angel of strength is i believe that you're going to find out the strength within yourself to overcome this anxiety phase in your life okay and most likely feel that this whoever is coming in your life this person is going to give you that required strength to overcome the anxiety right so let's see what are the messages what are the messages from the universe regarding this connection or in general what are the messages from the universe regarding this connection or in general who ba who ba someone's going to look in your eyes very intensely I was telling you right look at the way this person is looking at you this person is looking at you in such a loving manner and caring manner okay 
someone is going to look into your eyes as well very intensely the dreamy and the deep soulful love look right eye to eye con contact what what you give will come back okay what goes around comes around you send positive vibes positivity will come back to you you send negative vibes negativity will come back to you pucker up the buttercup being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet go for love magnet so you are being asked i don't know if you're able to read it are you able to read it okay let's read this pucker up the buttercup so it's like you can be practical you can be fair but at the same time you can be also a love magnet so if you are a bit reluctant to enter into this relationship and if you're going to act practical and reasonable it's fine but you have been advised to act as a love magnet okay and that uh, you're being advised to act genuinely kind that will make you a love magnet that will make your person fall more for you your treasure is at your hand you're trying to search it somewhere else your treasure your treasure is within yourself find the treasure within yourself okay try to and find the happiness within yourself okay because when you do that you will automatically start glowing up and that's going to help attracting the right kind of a person in your life okay you are being watched by loving eyes your spirit team is protecting you your ancestors are protecting you but on, not only that whoever loves you already knows you and they are watching you they are waiting for the right time oh my god time for the love fest who what can i say more what can i say more sagittarius this is a very nice reading okay so let's see what is the likely conclusion what is the likely conclusion for the given situation what is the likely conclusion for the given situation queen of wands happiness coming towards your way your desires are getting fulfilled your happiness is coming back okay whatever you had desire it is getting fulfilled and it is getting manifested wow be careful what you manifest beautiful sagittarius i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye